Hello everyone, I'm Kiwi Ku, Telecom Manager, Media Entertainment, Autodesk, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South China. Today we talk about uh, the digital content creation about Stingray Workflow 2. And following the uh, last lessons about Flow 1, we talk about using the HTC Vive controller to trigger some events and uh, we will use the uh, five control to touch the object and then and trigger event and get some user feedback but this time we have uh, a different approach uh, first of all we have a case study one with the MTR gauge MTR actually is a underground in Hong Kong it is a gauge to let people go in to have a payment and we will create a case study with the door with uh, automatic automatically opened and when we walk in nearby the gates and uh, we will create a case about uh, the headman device will be detected in the area in VR and then the gate will open automatically in case study 2 uh, imagine that uh, we want to present some uh, design with different rooms like uh, uh, for example for virtualization in a, in a house then you will show the guests about uh, the kitchen, uh, washroom, bedrooms, living room, something like that and uh, the user will be browsing around with the teleport with the control but sometimes the designer may want the, uh, the user to experience from the design perspective so we will use some tools in the <coughs> Stingray and uh, we set some location for the user for their better experience in VR <coughs> so let's go for the case one and the MTR gates so we will prepare, prepare a model of the gates in Maya and also prepare the Stingray scene with the real template then we send model and texture and also animation to Stingray with different approach then we will use the animation control to set the gauge animation with some event trigger then we will apply a trigger look to automatically detect the headband device in, to activate the events then we will test the results So first of all, this is Maya 2018 and we create a, a gate model with a two side. One is the machine and another is a, the binding door. So we set animation from 0 to 25 is a open and 26 to 50 to a close animation. So in Stingray the same that we open the template and then we got a template scene like this. And we will make use of this template and create a new level to uh, to do the our, our, our task. And normally, I will make use of the room model in uh, inside the template because I can save them some time to build the environment. So we drag the model inside the real real port and set the position to uh, X Y Z to zero. Then we got a scene like this. And remember, we have our tools on the right create side. Then we can uh, drag a player start into the scene. Then this player start will be initially uh, set up the position of the viewer with the headman devices. So scene is ready. And we go on. Then we will send the model from the mind to Stingray and then apply the character controller and set up the uh, events. So in the left side is a Meyer. Then we have two type of model. One is the gate machine. Then we connect the uh, Meyer to Stingray, and we will find that we connect the camera and they are synced together. Uh, actually, the Meyer and the model is the real size as Stingray because we set the mode the Maya and Raman into meters so we will find the uh, model will be uh, correctly sent to the position but the gates uh, we will have both model and animation so we will, we will create a model uh, with a name door with an epic export from Maya with the game exporter then you will check it on the uh, we need three stages one is uh, stay still one is open and the last one is the closing so we will use the animation setup with the uh, animation exported to the same directory 
Okay, after we've done that, we go back to the uh, Stingray and uh, uh, so simply we create a uh, folder first and go to beneath the uh, SS Bowser and right click to create a new folder. It's better for uh, different folder name to uh, collect different kind of models. So we call it the door and go to the door folder and then import the uh, model that we exported. So we check on the right directory and then to the gate 2. We import the gate door, name door first. We open it, then we will check out all the material, texture, model, but also animation, but without animation. It means it will create a, a, a character for me. And then import. So inside the door folder, you got the model, a uh, skeleton, and the material folders. You drag the model inside the video viewport and set it to zero. You will find that normally the uh, set, uh, local rotation axis is uh, on the model, but uh, when we send to the um, Stingray, it becomes a global axis. Then we import the animation, we turn off everything and select the target skeleton to be import before it's called door and import the animation. So our animation folder is created. So we import it three times to select different animation. Now it's opening or closing. And select the dog character. And the last time is uh, close. The same software to the door. All right, you got three uh, clip like uh, short is uh, animation. So we go back to the uh, skeleton and then right click. You know, now we can create an uh, animation controller to arrange the animations. So normally I will have the same name underscore AC it means uh, animation controller. The icon must pop up and you can double click it. So there's nothing inside and I will go to select the skeleton and also the preview of the door and delete the empty clip. So now you just need to drag all the uh, animation clip inside the area. And the first one is still, another one is open, and the free clip, the last one is closing. So normally uh, it will stay still in the still clip, the playing just stay still, and then when we do something in the event trigger, then we go to open. And the open will not loop and also the code will be just a single play. So we drag the steel to open with the event trigger, like uh, say to opening. And then after open, I will have another event trigger to closing the door. It's called uh, closing. And then after works, when you play back, finish play back the animation close, then we will go back to the steel stages. So we drag a uh, rotor back to the steel and then complete the animation. Right. So we save it. So this is done for. We have two uh, events one is opening, another is closing for trigger. Then the animation will play back. Right. Then we will apply a trigger to activate the event like the diagram on the float on the right hand side. So first of all, I want to be an area of trigger. So put the trigger on the create on the, on the right column and then drag a square on the floor and then pull up to become a volume, a yellow box. The yellow box default is named the trigger so we better rename it. At this moment, I will name it into active. Okay. Then we can go to the level flow to do the rest of the things. So first of all, I will create a level loaded. And with level loaded, I will have that 
trigger happen. Inside the trigger, there is a shape. That we can select the active box that we will trigger. So we we'll connect out to the enable for this trigger event. And the object we want to play is about the door. So the gate door. Just select the door name of the animation the, the gate. And uh, also we want to play the an animation. So send animation events. Connect the object. There were two. One is opening, and another is closing. So when it's touched, then we connect to activate the uh, opening. And when it is uh, untouched, it should be closed. So we connect untouched to close. So that's so simple that uh, we have this kind of uh, setup. So let's check on what the real result of this. So we connect the wife and then play on the stingray and then go to VR. First of all, I will go to teleport myself near the VR gate. And then when I walk, the yellow box trigger will detect my head on devices and then play the open animation. When I go out, then it will close. So, so simple, you can use this method to control the gate. Instead of gauge, you can do a lot of like a door open, bind door, uh, window open, something like that with the same method. Alright, here's some tip and tricks. So when you send a model from the Maya to Stingray with this link, you'll find the local version XX will become a global XX. So if you have animation that uh, you want to do in Stingray, the XX may be wrong. So in this case you may need to move your object to the global center then do the animation or you can already set the animation already and then send to uh, stingray then with more convenience so we might remind you that the, the this is a link will uh, or modify your uh, global xx to the global xx and also uh, when you build a trigger object the yellow box they normally will spill on the floor and due to your default uh, teleport, you will use the floor as a well, uh, teleport default function. Then the yellow block trigger object will block the area you want to move. So simply just move the yellow box a bit up, then you will solve this problem. And also the good practice is, is about uh, change all the name into a meaningful name with your event and uh, trigger events. So we jump to the uh, case study two, and we will uh, already explain to you why we want to have multiple location be defined for the user, because the we uh, designer we want the user to view on some perspective with the HMAR devices. So we we will use some notes to how to set up this kind of uh, uh, feature, like the set VR tracking space. It's one of the notes that we will move your HMAR device in like a teleport and also uh, we will use some uh, like a, a counter to compare uh, if you have multiple uh, location we will some feed the object in Maya to to identify the location so let's see what we can do in here first of all we want to test on the set we are set tracking space so we are using a keyboard button to test on the, the results here we have uh, VR scene uh, simply just create a cylinder as a destination. So we put it into some position like a three and three and zero on the back on the wall. Then so we go to the flow and simply use the keyboard to trigger. But sometimes the user may not know. Uh, want where we want to go so if you have a keyboard to help the user just like a guidance to help them to go to different position with the PV find the VR location so in here we just connect the plus and uh, we have button one and then set the position to v zero just in front of the cylinder so press the play to test on the result 
so we didn't define the initial stage so we just have a round here and we press the keyboard one then we will uh, teleport your hammer device nearby the cylinder so this work all right um we have every time we have a location we need to remind remember all the xyz position but no, it's not convenience for people to remind all the rooms maybe you have hundreds of rooms so uh, i will have a suggestion that we you may create a model in uh, maxmind or Revit. then please uh, create a small object as a position to uh, identify identify the place that you want to push uh, the camera to set on this uh, uh, position to view your mock view your VR design so in Maya I, I mentioned is uh, this is a real scale of the model so uh, because it's used meter as a unit then we have a position one position two model it can be hidden afterwards so we send these two model to the stingray with the same uh, position that we want the hammer device to 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 go in later on so got two models and then we just disconnect the Maya because we no more to need it all right let's check on the model name so select the spear we got a position one and spear two is a position two And now we also need uh, 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 the uh, player started. So we click on the player start on the create tools. Just go inside and then press on the ground. All right, set into a proper position for the initial stages. Then we can go forward. So we will make use of the spear and get the information of the coordination and then send to the headman device like a teleport to position and also we make use of the VR steam button to let the user to trigger to teleport it itself So it's simple and we just create some notes that we saw on the diagram before There's a level unit to select the position 1 and then I want to grab the uh, coordination information so, so grab the unit with the world position I'll select the nodes just connect the green link and then we will grab the XYZ position of the model and then we want to use uh, like a VR button so we are still VR button then put it over there and then I will need the level update to keep tracking on the button is this trigger or plus or not and connect the gray out to the update we use the button with trigger and then actually the controller one and afterwards we just need to set the um, tracking, post, tracking space so we are still tracking space so sometimes where, where it is, it's just, just, just uh, like right click the mount menus and go to Steam VR. Over there, there we are. Steam VR set tracking spaces. All right, just pull the position from the uh, set your world position and then press and enable the VR Steam. So in this moment, we test on it, and then when we press the button trigger button then we teleport yourself into position one all right that looks fine so we will have a multiple location right so uh, we will need to make use of some nooks to help us like uh, the absolute nook and the counter nook and compare so let's see what we can do so we have a um, position one or two then we just simply delete the link to the teleport we add a counter in here and then connect the steam VR button to the counting to increase increment so the value will be initially zero and then 
is each one I press a button, it will add one to it. So it's one, zero, one, two, three, four, something like that. So I will compare uh, value to one. Then, if it's correct, then I will teleport and enable the set checking space. So I will call a compare features with a nomadic compare. So I connect the uh, one and two like A, B for the com comparison. Comparison. So we connect it. And the value of output of the counter. And each time I will change, the time is changed, I will enable to compare. All right, afterward, if this is true, is equal, then I will enable the teleport and with the value from the position one. So let's test if this is working. go to the viewport and play so each time I press the trigger button then it's not teleport it's actually add the counter into one then it is correct then I will go to teleport it itself but um, how about the other another position or two or third position so let's simply just uh, duplicate the, the setting on above so we move around here and then duplicate the whole setup to a teleport compare and absolute value and just paste you just simply go press ctrl c and ctrl v copy and paste and change the position into position 2 with the model and also change the value to oh sorry i maybe something wrong the increment should be 1 and the uh, value of compare is should be 2 so in here I will be uh, change back the increment back to 1 and the uh, absolute value of the comparison connect to A is 2 sorry about that so when I on increment into 1 then we will compare correctly and then go to position 1 and if I press the trigger button again the counter will be 2 and then when I compare the 2 will be true then it will go to the position 2 so let that to test the result right so I click it will go to position 1 and 2 it will go to position 2 because 2 is true and this is what I do right so uh, if the, I cannot go back because the counter is going to keep adding so how can I uh, go back to the position 1 so in here just simply go back to the uh, level files and then I just when I finish the position 2 I then reset the counter to 0 and next time when I press the trigger then it will go to add one to position one again. So let's test it. Go to one, and then go to two, and press again. I go back to one, and press again. Two. So it's working. All right. So let's go back to check about the tips and tricks. So uh, uh, remind that. Uh, in the Maya and Max in the right scale with meter, then it will be uh, the same position and scale with staying rate. And we apply the filter object instead of the uh, position X Y Z because more flexibility to to user the design is not really need to remain to remember the position with the X Y Z. And uh, also uh, the counter, uh, you can uh, simply. <coughs> Simply uh, add as many as position you need, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, to compare. Then you get eight position. And also the uh, uh, arrangement arrangement of the uh, who, which position go first. You can just simply change value of the absolute nodes. Then you will be in order to uh, arrange which room or which area you want to go first. So it's quite uh, flexible for this kind of setup. 
Okay, in summary, then uh, to today this class is about tell you how to automatically trigger your uh, with a trigger uh, note with the HEPMA device that you can automatically uh, 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 enable some uh, events. And also, we will use make of the notes to create a VR preset location for the 3D design, and then your uh, user can get a better uh, experience with your design report. Um, for the la uh, next lesson, will be a free sound. Then we are uh, we will uh, show you how to create sound in 3D. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.